Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Now, for the past few episodes, I've been banging on about photographic exercises. Why, you might ask? Well, I think they're a valid way to keep your skills honed, and they're interesting too. Even after all these years as working as a pro, I still do them. For me, they keep the edge sharp, and you can find some new things to shoot. Now, one of the problems of being a pro is you often forget what you started working as a photographer in the first place. Sometimes the business just gets in the way. So for today, we're going to look at a different set of exercises to help people think outside the box a little. We're going to call it the exercise artificial restrictions. Now this can be anything you choose it to be, as long as the application limits you in terms of technique, time of day, equipment and location. It's a little bit like fighting with one arm tied behind your back. You get more proficient with the other arm, the more you practice. As I said, the limitations can be anything, as long as they have a photographic purpose. It could be shooting everything in black and white, over or under exposing, using one lens, shooting only in manual, shooting while seated or standing on a bench or a wall, shooting things only above you, etc. You get the picture. For our purpose today though, I'm going to pick three limitations. In a previous video, we did one where we used just a 50mm 1.4 lens. Well, sticking with that theme today, our first limitation is using a 24mm 1.4 lens. Now, I absolutely love this lens and I use it all the time. It's great for travel, it's great for reportage, it's great for, for landscape and cityscape. Now, the great thing about the 24mm lens is it forces the photographer to think about the wide angle. Things like distortion, how I can use it to my advantage or get rid of it. It's a really great lens to practice with. So our second limitation is time of day shooting between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Now, at the moment, it's 10 a.m., and we're in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's summer. So what does that tell me? It tells me the sun is gonna rise quite quickly high in the sky and create some hard, contrasty light. Very difficult to work with, but not impossible. So I'm not thinking about people pictures so much because it'd be very difficult to get uh, nice face, head-on shots of people, portrait shots, without any kind of artificial light because you're gonna pick up some shadows under the eyes, under the nose, and under the chin. For, for, uh, for architecture, it's actually quite good because we're going to use the shadow to our advantage and think in black and white. Now, the reason why this exercise is quite good is because you don't always have the choice when you're in a place for the great light. You might turn it to a place, a city, wherever, and it'd be in the middle of the day and you have no choice but to work with the light you've got. Now, for me as a professional, I can't walk away uh, from a place without the images, so I need to work with the light I've got. So it's a very good exercise to learn to work with hard light. So, for the third and final installment of our artificial restrictions video, we're going to be seated. This is a great limitation, but it's a fantastic limitation. I do it practically on every job I've ever done. I'll find a park bench or a city bench and just sit and wait for the shots to come in. I often can blend in with, with people around me. They'll soon forget you're there and you become practically invisible. Now, you've, it's incumbent on the photographer to find a good perch wherever you're going to try this, where you can get those great passing pictures. Don't worry about the equipment you're gonna use. I often use a longer lens so I can get some great portrait pictures. It's a great exercise. As I said earlier, the limitations are not limited. The point is, is to pick things that will make you think about the whole process from conception to print. Now these exercises are, I think, are fantastic tools and everyone should do them from time to time. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget, you can also subscribe to Adama TV for more great videos and let us know what you think. You can like, comment, or share this video. And please stop by the Adama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.